welcome to Top Table. Once again, I'm joined by Zachary Evis, Kevin Kinney. Um, we've had a few new things going on um, uh, YouTube lately, so I hope you've had a chance to check those out. This right here is a Top Table, where we discuss the topics you want to hear about. So, without any further intro, let's dive right in. Splash it around a little. Oh, make a big splash and... The first question is from Andrew Corona from Twitch asks, do you think the meta is balanced? If so, what cards do or do not make it that way? Um, I think the meta is very balanced right now. Um, I think Garbodor is a big factor in balancing it. Um, and I think slowing everything down, you know, the rare candies in stage two and I think a lot of that has to do with in factoring how big the how balanced the meta is right now. Mm -hmm. It just seems like you have so many different options as to where just a few months ago it was like every other week it was uh, Darkrai or Volcanion or it was these big Decidueye. basic yeah. Pokemon, yeah, excluding Decidueye that were just like taking over the form and now it seems like you can just kind of be creative and build a deck in all different ways and uh, and actually like make an impact. What are you guys, what are your thoughts? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of good abilities <coughs> in stage two Pokemon and you know, so on like without, with the current meta. So slowing it down makes decks that would be maybe tier two, borderline tier three, tier four. relevant or, or, or tier four, <laughs> even tier even tier one, you know? So it, it's, it, it's you're right. You're hitting the nail on the head. I, everything is, is <coughs> evening out. The only thing I, I kind of haven't seen is, is anything fighting yet kind of pop up so we'll see how that goes you, you don't know we have Passimian that could have gotten some power we have uh, Lycanroc that you know still haven't seen yet Lysander ability is good but other than that you're having you know you have Metagross you have uh, still you're seeing some Decidueye play you're seeing uh, uh, what's it called obviously Garbodor you're seeing Zor Zoroark and Drampa come back in or well, Zoroark come back in speaking of Zorak Drampa and fighting. I think if Zorak Drampa continues to be so good, I'm sure um, uh, fighting is to come back around, whether it be Zygarde or yeah. like a rock. Exactly. Part of my reason. How do you feel about that? Um, I would say the meta's balance. Um, a lot of it has to do with Garbodor. Garbodor, Garbodor is slowing the format down, but you can still play the fast stuff. Like you, you force. The, these deck, these players are forced to play slower to beat Garbodor, so these stage two decks are made. But if you just ignore that and you play your Turbo Dark with all your items, you you run over these decks that are trying to play slower. Yeah. So like you have that option. The options out there. You have a lot of options in this format. You can you can play Garbodor and try to run over kids. Like Garbodor is just going to be good against anything. Eventually, you're gonna play items, and you're gonna, your heat's gonna do damage. Or you can play the slower stuff that's good against a good part of the field and Garbodor. Or you can just say, "Fucking, I'm gonna play all my items, and I'm just gonna try to run everyone over that's playing slow." I mean, do you think and it's? I think that's good. Do you think it's possible to run a traditional Turbo Dark or Turbo and Volcanion win? and dodge all the Garbodors? Because uh, it's gonna be pretty tough if you face a Garbodor. And I think. I think. It's more likely to dodge now, seeing yeah. there's so many decks that have been revealed. Like after Seattle, you're going into Matt. If you went into Madison, you're thinking everyone's playing like Garbodor's huge. Like to to play something that just gets killed by Garbodor is just stupid. Like it's dumb. But after Madison, where the field was brought in, now all these players that weren't top players see that oh, this is a deck. This is a deck. Garbodor's deck. This is deck. It's like all right, they, now they just pick whatever one they think is cool and then they play it. And you can, like now the field isn't like 50% Garbodor. Where, yeah, you sneak in there with a Turbo Dark that's with all your items and you just crush everyone. You can you can dodge the, the Garbodor matchups. All right, so I think the consensus on that is that the meta is balanced. We'll put that in the pokey round file where it goes. And let's go ahead and have Kevin pull our next question out of the bowl. All right. Okay, this one from Matt Peskovich on Instagram asks, going into Indy, what do you think the, the meta will be like? 
I think there'll be a lot of Pokemon in it. A lot? <laughs> a lot. How many? Like, like a lot? dark Pokemon, grass Pokemon. No, <laughs> there, won't be, Pokemon? there won't be any fighting Pokemon. There won't be any? No. Okay. No, I'm just playing. There'll okay. be everything. There's going to be grass deaths. I mean, that's going to be... It's going yeah. to be nuts. Like, you said, everyone has a lot of time to prepare, right? Yeah. You get these these players and have have had over a, what over a month since the last tournament. Yeah, that gives them almost two months. The set's been out. That's that's <clears> a lot of time to prepare. These these tournaments before, they had week like a week. Even like in Seattle, it, had a, what one week before? Yeah, four or but two weeks. Even and the new that, cards came saw, out for Madison. You, but you saw yeah. with Madison, like <laughs> after Seattle, you saw with Madison yeah. just the development already into the set. Like you were seeing Metagross take second place. Like that's. Yeah, that's I'm guessing good. a lot of those decks were already in the work, but they just chose to play Garbodor. Yeah, well, it was just a smarter. I think it was a smart play. Garbodor, smart play there. Yeah, yeah. And then going into uh, Madison, it was let's beat Garbodor. So you, that's when things just got wild. And now the meta's huge, like anything can go. You don't know what you're and gonna then, see. And then, then it's internationals, so you're gonna get players from around the world. And th these players have had the cards longer. Japan's had probably the set for three more months. Than Does we that have. make them better though? Because they have cards that we can't use. Like Terminator is a big thing over there because you can run four blacksmith. If, I mean, if they're playing, if they're playing, practicing towards this tournament, then yeah, it makes them better because they've had. Time. And if you're traveling across from Japan to come play here, you're you're a good player and you expect to win. Mr. Kevin Kinney's dying to butt in. I can no, see no, it. No, no. I, 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 all I was gonna say was I completely agree. I you know took the words out of my mouth. That's. Yep. I, I think the players from Japan are gonna have an advantage. They're gonna see certain plays with with what we're doing. They they obviously are following yeah. what we're what we're doing because and, and I, we have a harder time kind of following what their meta is. Our stuff I feel is like streamed, as yeah. our stuff is streamed. It's a lot more public. It's more, you know, it's more on the internet. So, yeah. so why don't they stream the Japanese stuff? They probably do, but their their stuff's like secret Japanese websites. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like you it's, to, hard, it's tough I've, to find. I've, it's like tough to someone find. sent me links to Japanese lists and stuff. Yeah, and it's on some crazy. Websites. It's hard. Yeah, you go up there and you have to <laughs> touch some Japanese writing, and then you have to pick yes. another Japanese writing, and then and you're like, like yes. I found the mother load of all the great decks. <laughs> what I actually wanted to say was that I'm calling a Japanese player winning the uh, That's not happening. the Indie Regionals. My boy Azul. America. I know, I'm just saying that's I think it's gonna be a Japanese player. I don't know, Azul looks great. Yeah. I, Igor looks great. And then Israel Sosa, come on. No, Israel. He's gonna come out not? with like gold duck uh break. <laughs> gold duck <and> break <laughs> and just start he's, <laughs> Max Elixir to his active and Aqua Patrick to his active and just bopping them. Yeah. All right. Gold duck break. <laughs> break. Yeah. Zach Gold called break. it. That is the secret That's, deck that he's. Still, you're still wait, it. You're still are we gonna, it. How are we gonna see Gold duck break on not a bad deck? Oh yeah, definitely. No. Definitely. Make sure you check out. It's not a bad deck. It's not a bad. It's not a bad deck. That's yeah. not a bad. That's why it'll be on the show. Well, the name of it's called. It's not a bad deck. Yeah, but so it'll be on the series. But all the decks are bad. Let's. I think we all agree that the meta is gonna be. Huge, there's gonna be all kinds of Pokemon in it. We're gonna definitely have uh, stage <laughs> one and two. If there's well, one card two. or if there's one deck that you think will gonna is gonna be number one, what do you think is gonna win it all? That's gonna kind of generate the uh, the meta, just to kind of. I want to say. Well, there's four decks right now that kind of are at the top. Right, right. You know, bees. Let's, let's just get one. Just get Zoro. one. Zoro. We'll get all four. I don't see any of them. Garb and. Uh, Metagross, I right? Think, I think either Garb wins the tournament, or something that we have not we seen. Have not seen. Wins. Okay. I think, yeah. I don't. I don't think anything else. Something we haven't I'm, seen. I, yeah. I'm going with that. I think something we haven't seen yet is going to win the uh, international tournament. I think someone's going to get it right, and Alola Nine Tails is going to win the tournament. That's, that's could be too. Or, could be that or too. Sylveon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I would. I don't. I'd love to see Sylveon win because I don't. I just think no one's like mastered that deck, but it'd be cool to see someone that just like. I do not want to see right someone on win. Somebody watching my Sharpedo Alolan Diglett uh, or Alolan Doug Trio deck so the win? other day. That's gonna that's gonna take it. They're like, yeah. oh my gosh, the Sharpedo is boss. Yeah. Everyone, everyone Even though you lost, yeah. so your girl commented on it. I barely lost. <laughs> I barely, <laughs> barely lost. <laughs> I'm you lost to Incineroar. Incineroar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm weak. I got a Lola Duck trio. No, it's oh, not a bad deck. It's not a bad deck. It's not a bad deck. Yeah. But, All right, but this one will go into the round file. 
Yeah, Throw it away yeah. where it goes, and let's see if Mr. 11th himself. 11? Oh, uh, 12. Next time. Mr. Yeah, but do you have to cross reference that, uh, cross -reference that with their last, uh, last well, placing? Oh, if we do, my last placing was like 67. So you just average it out. Average it yeah, out. There was almost 500. Come on, that's better than you've ever done. Mm, you're right. Woo! You're right. Anyways, <laughs> George Birdie on Twitch asks, what does Expanded look like after Guardian Rising? Ooh, I think it looks like Garbdor. I I mean I think it That's looks like I think. I think it looks like Terminator Volcanion. I mean, oh, like I said, four blacksmiths. You got fishermen. You've got you know you put <laughs> fourteen yeah, fourteen right. energies in there. You're running Volcanion and baby Volcanion. You're right. I mean, why not? Yeah, there, it has so much uh, to gain. From Hell, the, throw a Starmie in there to really take it out in your. Free steam ups every two two free but, steam ups. But I don't a lot of a lot of expanded decks play items. Like yeah. like there's decks that literally just play items. Uh, one deck I, I've actually kind of dove into. I was showing you the other day. Uh, Mega Gardevoir, I think, <laughs> is kind of get a re, it might get a resurgence. And showing it, me the other day. It expanded and expanded just because it uses a bad it either. uses a lot of abilities. It hits for weakness on Garb. It's playing a good typing. You're not really going to see anything slow like Metagross. So you don't really have to worry about that. No. So, so you're can not I, really worried about stealing? Can I just yeah, step ahead, in and say ahead. one thing? Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. Yeah, yeah, Pseudo Wudo. That's gonna of hurt. Like, but you, if, 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 it's easy play too. I don't know. Yeah. I I don't Guardy's know. good, but Pseudo Wudo just kills it. That, you can get it's, it. It's the threat of Pseudo Wudo. Like a lot of a lot of people just don't play those decks just because someone plays Pseudo Wudo, you're screwed. <laughs> and like it's too easy. That's that's just how like uh, for a while Vesper Queen was like no one played Vesper Queen because Karen existed. Yeah, but now I mean I guess people don't care. I guess you can recover pretty quickly. I, you I've can recover people, fairly quickly. Yeah, I've seen Karen. people get like ten, ten Pokemon. I feel like on a turn. Karen's not really like a hard counter to Oricorio, like it, like it was intended you to be, that. or like for oh, Best of Queen. Queen. I think Oricorio is the hard counter to Best of Queen does because yeah. that's actually putting out damage. It's not just. I mean, Best of Queen. As long as you don't get rid of your Ultra Balls and save a couple Acrobikes. When you get Karen, you're just right back in there, bump, bump, bump. You know, you rescue stretcher for your unknown if you have to. You hook up another cleft lead to it, and you just keep going. So you can get those cards back in the discard fairly quick. It does disturb you and it disrupts you a little bit, but yeah. late game, late game, it's it's super tough. If you play Karen on a best of Queen player late game, if they yeah. ran through all their resources, yeah. yes, yeah. it's super tough. But with that being said, you know, all it takes is. Um, you know, two sycamores to get everything back in the discard pile because all your items are back in there. Maybe you have a couple sycamores or a couple of versus seekers left in your deck, and you're drawing into a hand of Pokemon with maybe one support or, or a versus seeker if you're lucky. And there you go, six Pokemon in the discard pile. Possible. And, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just easier to recover than it is to recover from an Aura Corio. There's really no recovering. Yeah. You've yeah. lost that Pokemon. I mean, if if Volcanion is going to be a heat in uh, Expanded, Blastoise coming back. Blastoise, Blastoise coming, coming back. back. <laughs> Blastoise wishy-washy. Absolutely not. I no, like you it. play with Primarina. Blastoise, yeah, no, you play with Primarina. Yeah, you yeah, play with Primarina. <laughs> you double and Archies. Definitely. And you... Caldeo, like Primarina. so much. Archies, now you can just call I mean, it Archies. Instead of Archies Blastoise, you just call it Archies yeah. Waterbox. So wait, are we excited for Expanded? Because we haven't dipped into it all. Or is this... Uh, is Standard just so juicy right now that we want to keep playing? Uh, yeah. It's juicy, but I feel like Expanded is still, it's, it's going to get even wild. more juicier. Like we're, we're just always been good. Yeah, I meet him at the coffee shop the, morning, the other morning and I pull out Zorok and he pulls out Expanded. <laughs> expanded Gardevoir. I'm like, uh. Yeah, he's no. like, here, you can use my Maxis deck because we have the Maxis oh. build. I go through it, no Lele, no so nothing. <laughs> No Rezzy's treasures, no. I hadn't touched it since uh, yeah. Level Up. It's good. Yeah, it's okay. I'm like, how am I supposed to compete? <laughs> So, so, you get like, the, you, get you have Jirachi, turtle, right? You're you good. The yeah, the you have Jirachi. You're no. fine. I was like, Jirachi's going to be Lele. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think okay. uh, that's pretty much how we've all expanded. It seems like it could be fun. There's a lot of good stuff that could be. Um, Sidroy, somehow. There's a lot of good yeah, stuff that could be explored and expanded. And. Um, I mean, Seismitoad and Decidueye are always going to be good like and expanded. It. I mean, Forest isn't going anywhere, it looks like. It may. We'll see after this rotation. I don't rotation. know, is the thing. But we're in trouble. That's how uh, we feel. And um, did you put that in the round file already? Yeah, most likely. Zach's quick to throw those topics away. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Let's uh, dip right into the next uh, question and see what we got. 
All right. Oh, I think this is going to be our last one today, boys. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I think Mr. Zach has a baseball game to get to. <laughs> so, uh, Rail88 on Instagram asks, Will Lycanroc ever become a competitive dead? Woo, I know you're excited for this question. All right, let me take this one then. Um, the ability is too good for it not to see competitive play. I mean, that's easy. It's, you know, you've already, you're, already <laughs> seeing, you're already seeing variations of it with Raichu. Pure Lycan Rock is kind of tough right now because grass is so prominent. You have Boo that just came out, you know, so that's really tough to get around. You have, you know, Lorantis, which is still strong, uh, and Decidueye, which is, you know, the, all those are really hard to get around with a, a deck that's weak to grass. So if, if, no matter what you're Lysandering out or, or, you know, using Bloodthirsty Eyes and, and bringing out, it's a threat to you. So but I feel like so much... Good stuff is weak to fighting right now, though. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I agree. That's why I see. I, I well, I think I think that Lycan Rock's gonna see play in the future. Like may, maybe a variant of it will come up in Indianapolis. Maybe we'll see it in the following set for Worlds. Maybe it won't be until rotation. No, I think it's good. But no, I just, I, I just don't think the good players are playing it. Yeah, I think it, it just takes the good players to play it because that ability is busted. Uh, like, it's amazing. But do you play it? Do you play it traditionally, like with Carbink, or do you play it a, a different I don't know. form? Like it's, someone figure that out. Yeah, that's not me. I think the right shoe. <laughs> the right shoe builds pretty good. Someone will figure yeah, out. Right yeah, yeah, that's good. the most popular. Yeah, by yeah. far, is the right shoe build. Right shoe builds but pretty good. you know, it's you loved right shoe. Like it's just a popular it's Pokemon. It's, the the attack circle circuit is just it's a great. It's a good card on its own. Been around for a long mm -hmm. time, so even players that like oh, circle circuit's back with a lice a free Lysander, I'm playing it. Yeah, it's good. So it's. It's good, it, but it it would have been better if like top of the wasn't thing and shaman was huge and so you could just kill all the shamans. Yeah, yeah. But now <laughs> you got top of the with 170. You don't, you don't hit the yeah, you don't hit the right I mean, numbers. The damn like it I do not like the only thing that makes sense why this deck is not good is that the good players are not playing it. And these good players are just running over all the people who are playing it. Because like it does like that GX attack sneaks up on you. Yeah. You play four Pokemon on your bench, you damage. lose. Like yeah. that's an automatic knockout. Yeah. Like, I don't. I just don't. There. That's the only reason I can think why it's not good. Yeah, it's a. It's a like, really solid card. is amazing. It does tons of damage. Like, the damage sneaks up on you so quickly. You're like, wait, how much are you doing? Oh, strong energy, strong energy. Uh, this bubble. Reggie Rock, you know. Uh, what I don't like is Van. But I'm like, what I don't like is the two two split though. No, no, I'm no. playing four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah, four. some people are playing the two two split. No, no, I'm not I'm a fan of that. Split. Yeah, I, I, at first when I built it, I was playing three one just to see the variation of the GX attack if they weren't putting down Pokemon on their bench. But overall, you really want that fourth one. You want to see that ability. Maybe I'll play four one just in case you have the versatility. But playing too many of the Lycan Rocks could get clunky. So I'm not really a fan I play, of that. I played the I'm, first round at Seattle. Like he played two Lysander in it. I'm not that. Like, no, I don't know about two Lysander yeah, yeah. on top of it. Take so technically he had like four Lysander, or six, six Lysander, Lysander, plus verse. So he had like a million Lysander, <laughs> and like every turn, I, tr I put a I put a Vulpix down, he would just, I put an energy on it, Lysander up, kill it, Lysander up, kill it. He hit both his uh, Lysanders in the first three turns, and wow. just killed me. And I'm like, this is... Stupid. Just bopping you. And then I talked to him later. He's like, "You're the only person I beat." I was like, "Wow, wow, maybe, maybe you have to feature Zach Zach on. It's not a bad day." No, like Black and Rock. Yeah, you beat the Sidewai Nine Tails when you went in there. But what else have you done? Nothing. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. See some competitive play and kind of creep into the meta. But as of right now. It's borderline tier two. Well, I think we feel the same way about that as we do everything else. It will be good when the good players play it. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put this where it goes in the okay. Pokemon round file. I want to say thank you to everyone who tunes in week in and week out, week out for the top table. I would also like to say if you enjoy this, please subscribe share and like this video and please leave a comment in the comment section on a topic you'd like to hear us discuss about next week um i'd also like to add that we are going to be rolling out a schedule in the next week of daily activities that we will be posting on youtube it's going to be a team effort um we're going to have kevin's series it's not a bad deck 
We're gonna have Zach's series, Road to the Top Table. I'm doing a series, Chumley Versus. I'm also doing a day where I open boxes called What's in the Box. And we have a few other things that I don't really want to um, release yet. But they are great ideas and you guys are going to have to stay tuned. And hopefully you will subscribe to the channel, like, and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And your mom. Share and it with your mom. Share it with your mom. Definitely share it with yeah. your mom. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Share she has a YouTube friends. account, share it with her. Yeah. 100%. And uh, from Sack and Scoop, I think it's about time to... Scoop it up. Oh, oh, oh.